to this edition of By No Means a Chef. I'm your host, Monique Henderson, and today is a very, very special show. Today we are at the American Cancer Society with the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Group, uh, with the council of which I sit on that board. And um, we have a couple of special guests that I'd like to introduce you to. First, we're going to bring up Chef Maurice Wallace of Lone Star Catering. Hi, Chef. We've got, got an audience of folks here, so... You guys out there will get to see uh, the, the audience that we have here in the room. Just to give a little background on the chef before I let him uh, chit-chat a little bit. Um, he and I went to college together, actually high school. So I've known him for quite some time. I know I'm only 20. He's like, what, 37, 38? <laughs> He's a little older than me, but um, we went to school together. Uh, we both went to Johnson & Wales University, which is a school that specializes in culinary art and uh, hospitality management. So um, what you are going to see here today, he has learned quite a bit from uh, both high school and uh, at Johnson & Wales. So we're so happy to have him here today to share his talents with us. Um, I'd also like to bring up Mr. Steve Windham. Steve. Yeah. Steve is the community manager for Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. And again, you know, he sits on the council with us and, and he helps to lead and guide us. And uh, well, he'll talk a little bit more about what the council is and how we came to be. So before we jump into the chef, I'm actually going to go ahead and let Steve uh, say a few words. Um, so thank you. My name, as she says, Steve Windham. I'm with the American Cancer Society, and I am the community manager. I'm one of four amazing community managers who helps run the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk of Detroit. Um, we have a great walk this year in 2016. It's on October 8th. Um, we'll be downtown at Hart Plaza, and we're having our annual kickoff event on August 10th this year at Southfield Pavilion. If you'd like more information, you can visit makingstrideswalk.org slash DetroitMI. All right. So, thanks, Steve. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with By No Means a Chef, this is a concept that I came up with. Why? Because I am by no means a chef. <laughs> I love to eat. I love to experiment in the, in the kitchen. Um, and I do just love food overall. So, um, this was something that I felt, I, I knew I wasn't the only one out here that, you know, we're looking for fast, easy, and delicious recipes. So, as I stumble across different recipes, I like to share them. Um, I'm sure plenty of you who are on social media see the little recipes that come up or people, you know, will either share a recipe or show something that they've prepared. And for me, I look at them like, okay, some of it looks a little sketchy. Some of it looks really good. And I'm like, okay, I'd like to, you know, try out some of those recipes for myself. And those ones that I do try and I actually like, I share on by no means a chef. Um, every once in a while, we'll get the professionals that come in <laughs> and really teach us how to cook and, and share some great information, which is what you're going to learn here today. Um, I encourage you to visit the website, which is www.bynomeansachef.com. On there, you'll learn a little bit of, about me. You'll learn a little bit about the chef. You'll see some recipes. You can either download the recipes and print them off, or you can click on the videos. I usually try to keep my videos anywhere from five to seven minutes long because I realize a lot of folks don't like to sit down and watch, you know, full-blown, you know, TV show. So um, they're very, very brief, and I hope very helpful. I definitely encourage also for you to give me your feedback. If you have a recipe you want to share, if you'd like to do a show, I'm more than happy to bring me and my camera to your home. You can come to mine, whatever. Um, would love to have you on the show. Um, and again, just please, please, please give me your feedback. I am also on uh, Facebook and Twitter. So please reach out to me on, on those networks as well. Would love to uh, connect with you there. So, Chef. Today, we are cooking what? So wait, let me back up. Again, we're at the American Cancer Society, so obviously what we're cooking is healthy, right? Yes. We're sharing yes. some information, <laughs> right? Yes. Um, what else can I say? Oh, wait, I forgot. We have some other special guests in the audience. I was about to forget about the council. I'm sorry, let me back up. We do have some members of the council. Palmer, can you scan over here? And uh, members, if you could please wave at the camera and feel free to introduce yourselves. These are some of my council mates. She's eating. Okay, that's all right. Uh, these are her council members a couple of years. We also have in the house members of my sorority, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, um, that are here today, and they're distributing some information. Uh, we are distributing some information. Um, again, that all falls in the, the uh, theme of being healthy. Today's program is called Making Healthier Strides. So we're sharing that information. We also have our brothers in the house, the members of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity, of which most
Buffalo was one of them, and we have a couple of other gentlemen in the audience, so we're definitely glad to have the family in the house today. Okay. So, back to the chef. <laughs> what are we cooking today, chef? Okay, so Mo asked me to do the show, and she said, Chef, I need to uh, do me something. So I couldn't just do just one thing, so I did three. Okay. So, <laughs> so first, we're going to have an appetizer. It's called a uh, eggplant slider. Ooh. Then we're going to move to a main dish, and it's a, a shrimp stir-fry minus uh, the rice or the pasta. Mm. Then we're going to finish it off with a fruit smoothie with uh, tofu. Ooh, and might I add, everything, like Mo said, everything that, uh, that I'm doing is associated with cancer. And I took the liberty to write down a couple of notes, if you don't mind. So all these, all, a lot of leafy greens help to prevent, help to prevent uh, cancer. Green tea helps present breast cancer, prostate, colon, stomach, skin, uh, skin tomatoes, uh, lung, breast, stomach, broccoli, all cancers, red wine, yes, red wine, <laughs> skin, garlic uh, for stomach, colon cancer, um, skin cancer, breast cancer. So everything that I'm cooking here helps the cause. So for our first dish, which is the eggplant slider, of course we have eggplants, uh, beef steak tomatoes, um, fresh basil, and a little ricotta cheese. Just gonna season it up with a little salt and pepper. And a lot, a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of people get food mixed up with you got to put a whole lot of stuff in it. You know, this is a very simple dish, and we're actually going to make the flavor come out of it with the with the actual foods that we are using. So again, I got some fresh basil here. I'm julienne that up a little bit. Now we got our pans a little hot. And I'm just gonna season our eggplant. A little salt and pepper. Real simple. So while he's doing that, let me ask how many um Pretend chefs do we have in the audience? Better question is how many of you are like me in the audience? <laughs> All right, cool, cool. That's great. Yeah, just let that cook in there a little bit. Like I, uh, like I stated, they're sliders. So we're going to take the, uh, the eggplant, we're going to put a little uh, ricotta cheese on it, put the tomatoes on there, put the uh, basil on top, put another piece of eggplant on top, got yourself a slider. Mm. It's good for, for, a nice little, for a nice little snack. No bun? Love it. The, the eggplant <laughs> is the bun. No, I know. <laughs> yeah. This, it's a real fun dish to make. Are there any other vegetables that work good as the buns? Like, could you use uh, a zucchini or a cucumber? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Anything, anything that'll be kind of you know sturdy, mm -hmm. you know that could that could hold, you know that could hold it like a like a sandwich type deal. It it will work. It will work. Like, just gonna put a little of that basil in there. So Fresh Mo, basil. Is there a certain temperature that your your pan needs to be on in order to make sure that you're cooking it cooking it thoroughly, especially with vegetables? It's not really a certain temperature. You want you want you want to start off with a hot with a hot uh, 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 pan, and you want your oil in there because once once you once you put that that uh, product in there, it seals it. Okay. So it kind of seals in the juices, okay. right? So we got that going. Got our eggplant. Okay. Got oil. Is that olive oil? Yes, ma'am. Olive oil. Olive oil. So and 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 you you cook them a little thin so it doesn't take long to cook. So once those are ready, I'm just gonna lay those out. And while that's sitting there for a second, I'm gonna get a couple more going. So we can make sure you guys are able to taste. Again, a little salt. So I'm gonna take one of these puppies and spread. the uh, ricotta cheese on there. We're going to take our... See by chance there a calorie count in this. I'm not a calorie counter, but for anybody that might be interested in it, it looks pretty healthy to me. There you go. Right. right. No calorie. Okay. Okay. It's no calorie. Right. Zero calories, folks. Right. Zero calories. <laughs> Put that right on top of there. Just like that. And you have your... 
eggplant Ooh. slider. Oh. Let's try next dish. And this mold, I think you probably don't like this one. This one is a shrimp stir fry. Okay. okay. Now, instead of using rice or pasta, we're going to use all veggies. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to have some garlic, some basil, butter. Butter is going to make our sauce. Okay. Salt and pepper, shrimp, corn. You can use fresh or canned. If you feel like shucking some corn, go right ahead. <laughs> but uh, other than that, everything else is fresh. Some lemon. I have some wild tomatoes. They're just assorted uh, tomatoes. Some diced zucchini and some diced squash. Can you all smell like the, the basil and, and all this? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, dig into my little stash of vegetables right here. And Chef, if you want to get a volunteer from the audience to help you out with uh, with any of this, I'm sure you might have some takers out there. Absolutely, that means they get to eat first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, by all means, if anybody wants to, to volunteer, and come when, I get ready, when I get ready to uh, dish it up, okay. I'll have somebody come up. Once again, I stepped mm -hmm. out of my lane. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. You put your blinker on this time. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you put your blinker on, you just stepped on out there. Okay. All right. <laughs> So these are all very, what I think are simple ingredients. So one of the things that I, I find that, you know, when I'm looking for different recipes, you know, you run across different right. ingredients, you're like, first of all, how the heck do you pronounce that? Right. And then how do you prepare it? Where do I buy it? Where do yeah. you buy it? Exactly. Buy it. So these um, seem to be very, very simple ingredients. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we caught it on tape uh, where he was saying um, that, you know, a lot of the ingredients that he has here today, he just got from Myers, you know, one of our local grocery stores here. So everything that I got today. That's that's awesome. Yep. I'm all about simplicity. Yep. And, yeah. Yep. And, and I add my garlic not first on purpose. I add it kind of last. Anybody know why? Is that yeah. minced garlic or chopped garlic? It's, fre it's fresh garlic. So it's the fresh flavor is more to the top? No. So it doesn't burn? Bam. Ah. Yep, so it won't burn. Yep, so it won't burn. I'm gonna add a little corn. Can y'all smell that out there? Of, I'm not a huge seafood eater, but I can't think of a lot of seafood dishes besides chowder maybe that has corn and corn in it. Is that is that a typical vegetable? We're talking we're talking texture, we're talking um, just fun. Okay. This is a fun dish. All right. This is a it's a, it's a summery dish. It's it's, it's really light. Um, again, easy to make. Tom, I get a really close up shot of the, the the pan. I wish you guys could see it. It's very very colorful. I mean, all the the yellows and the reds and the greens. Yeah. It's just it's a beautiful beautiful yep. pan of food. Yep. So, uh, corn. No. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, if you don't like corn, what can you substitute it with to add I that mean, texture? Yeah, you. I mean, you, whatever whatever you like. That's, that, that is, that is a good one. You can put that in my hand there. Yeah, that's a good one. It'll give it, it'll give it some nice color. Um, okay, um, is there another word for adamame? Is no, that, that's is that, that's, 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 that's just what it is. What, what is it. that? It's a soy bean. It's a soybean thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Alright. Yep. Just for folks. And you can buy it like without the shell also. Yeah. Okay. It will come through. Awesome. Yep. Just cooking it. I'm gonna add my shrimp in there. So now one of the things on in, that you'll see in some of my other episodes, um, just kind of using this dish as an example where he has the diced zucchini and all that stuff. So can you buy this stuff like already chopped? Some of the stuff, well, even if it's frozen. You can, but I mean, fresher is better. Well, Just, we know fresh is better, can. but again, this, in keeping with the theme of By No Means a Chef, there are a number of dishes that I prepare on the show where may, it may call for chicken, and instead of the fresh chicken, while yes, I'm sure the fresh chicken tastes mm -hmm. better, I love, love, love those little packets of uh, Tyson chicken that's mm -hmm. pre-cooked, yeah, yeah. absolutely, pre-seasoned, and yeah. you just get you, that. You can do that. You can do that. So, yeah. yeah. You can buy everything already chopped, already prepped up for you, or you can do it yourself. Okay. But, you know, if you want to just get in the kitchen and play, do it this way. If you just want to eat, <laughs> go ahead. Well, eat and be cute because yeah. you can still take yeah. all that stuff, put yeah. it on the plate, throw See? a sprig or something on the side of it, and uh, have See? it look really nice. See, in the other episode, uh, the other uh, uh, portion I, I was talking about, the wine. Uh -huh. So, while you're sitting there cooking, you could be drinking your, your, your uh, daily dose of red, red wine. wine. 
Yeah. Okay. And you'll be you'll be you'll be pleasing yourself and helping to prevent cancer. There you go. There you go. Say so now, how many people in here know how to cook shrimp, or better yet, know when it's done? Pink. Okay. So I'm looking at it, and he's flipping it over, and you're right. So the the side that's not done yet is still kind of grayish, mm -hmm. and then he flips it over, and it's pink and, and more opaque, right? Yes. Okay. You're a good assistant. What? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to toss that around in there a little bit. Now I am going to add a little butter. And that, and, and that butter, just basically, like I said, just gives it a kind of sauce type, you know, texture to it. Well, like and bacon, butter makes it better, right? right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 A stick of butter. That looks butter. really good and it smells really good. Mm -hmm. Mo, can you do me a dial and, and give me a fork? Because I got I to gotta taste it just to see if I need to add a little something, something to it. Thank you. All right, we got some, some comments in the audience for some other ingredients, some onion. Yeah, and maybe add a little onion, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I like that. It looks beautiful. A little pepper, red pepper, a little red Ooh. in there. Mm -hmm. Like this is ready. That's and that bad. took it took me how long? Five minutes. Oh, oh. wasn't even that? that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hit that. So, so is, that, is shrimp the fastest cooking kind of thing to use? Is that just quick? You, you, you can use chicken. Yeah. Mm. You can use you can use chicken. Um, now would you pre-cook your chicken or put it in? One yeah. Hole? No, you you'll pre-cook you pre you pre-cook the chicken. Okay. Oh, uh, for sure. Y'all pre-cook that chicken. Um. Or, um, what you could do if you're going to do the chicken raw, mm -hmm. do the chicken in the pan, then throw your veggies in there. Mm -hmm. I just did it. I just did it that way because that the the, um, the, uh, the shrimp doesn't take long to cook. Mm -hmm. So if I'd have put the shrimp in first and then cook the vegetables, you know that shrimp will get tough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So I add in there last because it, it cooks fast, mm -hmm. right? So let's uh, let's see what we got here. I hope it's good. It smells good. It smells good. Yeah. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Yes. There you go. All right. You guys enjoying yourself so far? Two successes. Yeah. 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 I got that. That two in a row. That two in a row. Try them. Mm -hmm. Making this tomorrow. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. You mind doing me some shrimp? Right. That's awesome. Simple. So good, super fresh, and cheap. Good, fresh, and cheap. Absolutely. Good, fresh. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you. For, for all, for all <laughs> okay, of this. Okay, so now we're on our last, it's not really a dish, but last item, which is a fruit smoothie. It's a fruit smoothie. Okay, what are our ingredients for this? Okay. We have some low fat vanilla yogurt, mm -hmm. some fresh strawberries. You can use frozen for those frozen folks. And mm -hmm. some bananas. You can use frozen if you want to for your frozen folks. And tofu. Mm. Tofu? It's tofu. a specific type of tofu though. It's for it's for smoothies. And you're right, it's for protein. Oh. It's for energy. Oh, okay. Again, this is everything that, I, that I've done is was concerning cancer. Cancer fighter. Cancer fighter. Thanks, Steve. Well, thanks, Steven. Correcting me in general. Now the tofu. Tofu usually people say has like a bitter, disgusting taste. Well, that's why you have to use it. It's, it's, this is specifically for smoothies. So it has sugar, right? It's specifically for <laughs> smoothies. Okay. I, personally don't, I personally don't care for tofu. I, I think it, it, it's tasteless. But it's just like it's just the tofu is just like mushrooms. You, whatever you make it, mm -hmm. that's what it is. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't list sugar as one of the uh, or gluten or anything like that as one of the. Uh, it's organic, right? No, it's like water, organic, whole soybeans, calcium sulfate, and pork. What? No. <laughs> and then with the yogurt, you got again the vanilla, not the. Plain, because the plain can be kind of tart, right? Yeah. So you got the vanilla, uh, yep. so you got the yogurt. So you got the sweetness from the yogurt, you got the natural sweetness from the strawberries, and you have the natural sweetness from the banana. The banana. So you don't have to add anything. Mm -hmm. Again, this is cooking without adding a bunch of stuff into the food. Mm -hmm. You wasted money for the most part. 
You know, I need, I need, you really just need some fresh herbs, some salt and pepper, some oil, and you got yourself a good meal. You just gotta do it in moderation. There was a question? Um, I'm allergic to bananas, so what can I use to substitute for that? Um, vanilla yogurt? No, I mean bananas. Bananas. Oh, bananas. bananas. Don't use it. Okay. Don't use bananas. You, have, you, you can use anything else. You can, What's another sweet? Um, you right. can mix it with kiwi. You can mix mm -hmm. it with apple. With, yeah, with, apple. with uh, not no, really pineapple? apple. Pineapple, yes. What about mango? Peaches, mango. 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 Yeah, you can. You, you, yeah, this, this is just what I like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is about me, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll go off on tangents <laughs> like that. <laughs> And I know somebody's like, well, how much are you going to put in there? Everything in equal portions. So if you're going to put, that's why, that's why I brought this cup. So whatever you're going to, whatever, you're going, whatever wherever banana you put in the cup, same thing you do for the tofu, same thing for the strawberry, same thing you do for the yogurt. And then you can kind of adjust it to where, you know, to where your flavor profile is. Okay. So you're saying some of the other, um, what other types of ingredients have you personally used um, you know, in your smoothie? Everybody's big on this big green smoothie thing now. What what makes it green? Uh, kale, your yeah, kale, spinach. Okay. Um, uh, wheatgrass. Mm -hmm. Um, but I I like um the carnation instant breakfast. Mm -hmm. I use I use that. Um, uh, uh, what kind of milk I use? Uh, almond milk. milk. Almond milk. Almond milk. Yes, I couldn't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I use the carnation instant breakfast and almond milk. Mm -hmm. That's it. And you can add you can add your strawberries to it, or you can add bananas, except for that young lady. Um, and stick your straw to keep on rolling. Is it the sweet one? I use the sweet. I don't like I don't like the uh, the, um, the plain. The, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's 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 a. Uh, Have you bitter. tried coconut milk? Co it's sweet. Oh, it's real sweet. Yeah. Yep. So. So again, keeping with by no means a chef. Mm -hmm. So you can use like any shore. Mm-hmm. The cancer patient? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Keeping that, that bag of, of frozen fruit, um, you know, in your freezer, you can get the, the ones that has already has the pineapples chopped up or the cantaloupe or whatever, the yep. strawberry yep. already pre-mixed. Yep. You can get that Again, when you're on the go, you're looking for something that's easy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, just add your yogurt and your, your tofu. Yeah. It's a go. It's real simple. I mean, the, the longest thing that is, that's taken me was just to cut this up. And that really wasn't nothing. If I'd have been just doing this just for me, you could do this like in a in a matter of matter of minutes. Put it all in there. Now you can, if you want to, um, of course you can add ice to it. All depend on your uh, liking. And we're about to get a little loud. That would mess this whole thing up. I'd be topping with whipped cream. I know. <laughs> and a little wrong. <laughs> yeah. Should have put, put, put babies in there, right? <laughs> now you don't even realize there's tofu in there. No, you don't. So you get you get that that's that hidden energy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Maurice, what is the reason for the tofu? It's, it, it's it gives you energy. It's protein, oh, protein, protein and okay. energy. So that's in lieu of uh, going to the health food store and buying a protein mix. Absolutely, it's going to cost you forty bucks a can. Absolutely, absolutely. Instead of buying that, instead of buying that forty dollar uh, jug of protein shakes, just do this. So, no. where do you find that? Myers. Next to the tofu. Next to the tofu. So, Maurice, how long is, will this stand or how long will it be able to sit? Is it something that you can make overnight? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah just put it, just keep it in the fridge. You can probably keep it for about for a couple of days. Oh, are you serious? You can probably keep it for a couple of days. But of course, the fresher, I don't like to add Right. Yeah, I mean, but so um, is it, I guess my question is, is it gonna well, I guess separate? It's, it's not gonna separate like that because it, it's, it's 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 they all like cream based. You know, it's like a cream base, so it's not like oil and water or or like uh, uh, some type of liquid where you know it's just gonna separate. This this is gonna stay together. Okay. Okay. Tougher than leather, like Run DMC. <laughs> I guess calorie count. Would you say? Not a lot. I mean, the, the biggest. That's, no, honestly, I mean, your your biggest thing is is the uh, uh, low fat um, yogurt. But you can buy uh, uh, no fats. You can buy no fat. Yep. Because I use the mm -hmm. you know the, the no fat.
All right, well, again, thank you so much. Please, again, join or uh, visit www by no means a chef quite often. Visit the Making Strides, uh, give me the web. Makingstridesblock.org. Makingstridesblock.org uh, website often. Join us on October 8th at Hart Plaza. Mm -hmm. Join us on August 10th for the kickoff breakfast. We would love to have you. And with that, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo! Thank you.